I got baby face. Look at that face. Soft as a baby's buttocks. It's always weird to see your face for the very first time after you've shaved. It's like, it's fine. It, it's fine. It just takes some getting used to. It's an adjustment period. Good evening, or morning, or whatever time of the day it happens to be. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Lego Mike Grego, and welcome back to the Bumbling Chef, where today I do a lot with my hands. Um, I've been noticing that as I've been doing more content. I'm like, my hands just don't stop moving. They just, they're always doing something, and uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Today on the Bumbling Chef, we're going full-blown sports bar. We are making chicken wings with deep fried pickles, mozzarella sticks, and curly fries. Oh, yeah, this doesn't feel right. This just doesn't feel right. Uh, just something about this is off. Just something about this whole thing is off. I know what it is. I said sports bar and I fucking meant it. Oh, yeah. Yeah! We, we don't have any like pinup girl like posters or calendars. Um, the closest thing we have is this poster of Gordon Ramsay. I think it counts. I think it's a good pinup girl picture. We'll, we'll hang it, uh, we'll hang it over here. Right, right over here. So since we're doing two deep fried things with the mozzarella sticks and the pickles, I am opting to do my recipe for oven baked chicken wings, which are just as good. They have a completely different kind of crisp to them and crunch to them. They're pretty fucking good. So for the first step, we're gonna preheat our, that's the timer, that is the timer. We're gonna preheat our fiery ball of death to 435 degrees, overshot it, but we got there in the end. Like with our chicken Parmesan episode, we are gonna need multiple bowl units things because we're gonna be doing multiple things we're gonna have our egg we're gonna have our breading and our other breading it's gonna be fun fantabulous and fantastic so step one we're gonna get our egg mixture ready um because you gotta have egg wash to do your breading up at least do it properly we're gonna start with five eggs we're gonna see how many eggs we need because i actually did not get a direct number on these but we'll figure it out unlike with the cheesecake last week we can just crack these and drop them in we don't gotta separate anything this is simple oh my god it's so simple i'm gonna pass out i'm going to imagine from all the oil fumes in here that are, that are gonna be in here in about half an hour i don't care because we're cooking i'm gonna add two more eggs to make it seven uh because we're gonna absolutely use all seven of these probably more because we got so much stuff that has to go through this egg wash machine. Then we're going to take our fork, we're going to stir it all up. If you have a, a tiny whisk, tiny whisk would probably also work just as well, but it doesn't. So we're just going to use our fork and we're going to whisk, and you're going to whisk and whisk and whisk until, you're going to whisk until it's all kind of just one, one shade of, of yellow, orange. Because, uh, you know, you got, you got the soupy, cleary, orangey, yellowy color. That's cool. And then you got the darker, like thicker, yolkier yellow color. That's cool. Get those as close to one color as you can. I mean, you get that like nice, like gentle yellow, like like fun shine bear from the Care Bears. You all know what I'm talking about. You all watch Care Bears. Everyone loves the Care Bears. You can get that get that get that masculine shit out of here. Even you guys, you love the Care Bears. You probably know all of them by name. Let's name them all right now. There's Fun Shine Bear. There's there's Wish Bear. There's Bedtime Bear. There's Grumpy Bear. One hour later. Then there's the Care Bear Cousins. You had like Lots of Heart Elephant, uh, Playful Heart Puppy, uh, what was the lion? Brave Heart? No, it wasn't. It wasn't Brave Heart. That's somebody else. That's a different guy entirely. When your eggs are the consistency you want them, they're one color, we'll move on to our spice mixes, which are very, very, very important. Very important. Now we have two boxes of panko here because we're going to do something a little bit different. I've actually never done, never done this before, but I heard that this is a good way to do it. You're going to take one box of one box of your panko cr crumb, panko crumbing, credding, breading, crumbing, panko, and you're going to put that in a, in a receptacle all by its lonesome. That's going to go alone. Nothing else is going to go in that one except for the panko. The other one, you're going to use half of the bag of panko. Oh, I'm so strong. Yeah, it's nice. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. For this other box, you're going to take the panko out. You're going to be strong once more. Do it. Don't look stupid on the internet. 
can never look stupid on the internet. Arrgh. Nailed it. You're gonna dump about half of the breadcrumbs that are in this bag in here. Uh, no more, no less, just, just about half. We're then gonna take a cup of flour and add it to our half bag mixture of panko. Calls for a cup of panko in this mix. Again, re read, read the ingredients and you'll you'll get all of the all will be revealed if you just read the ingredients. Idiot. You big big old dummy dum. From there, add a tablespoon of salt. Whee! A tablespoon of garlic powder. I almost said garlic pepper, but it's not garlic pepper, it's garlic powder. Whee! Half a tablespoon of onion powder. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that one was full. Add a teaspoon of your paprika. Oh, fuck me. This is close enough. Just add that. It'll it'll all balance up pretty well, I think. And lastly, but not leastly, you're gonna add a teaspoon of black pepper. Just 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 play it by eye. Just just put a little bit. A couple sprinkles in there. It's supposed to be half a teaspoon. It's not coming out. I'm impatient. What are you gonna do? Sue me again? Internet? Bunch of suing sue crazy jerks. Stir your mixture all up. Make sure your flour, your spices, your panko, all of that is equally distributed and dispersed. If you want to add more garlic powder or more onion powder, go for it. Um, they can't hurt. Honestly, in my opinion, they're going to add more to it than, you know, than they're going to help more than they're going to hurt. I'm going to add more garlic powder because I love garlic powder. Do we not have any more garlic? Are we, are we, are we out of garlic powder now? I have like a year's supply. Is that... Did we just go through all of it already? Stir it on up. Make sure it's all equal and even. That looks good to me. It's got the nice red color to it. It's got a nice thickness from the panko. The, 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 the thing, this thing here is ready for whatever is going to happen next. So once your spices and all that stuff is taken care of for right now, it's at, put it out of the way, or as out of the way as you can get with your tiny, tiny counter space. And we're going to move on to our chicken wings, our Tyson chicken. Are you guys proud of me? I didn't get it because it was on clearance. That wasn't the inspiration for this whole episode. Yeah. Well, that's growth. That is growth. Apron. Oh, I would never forget you. Except for the couple times I've forgotten you. Oh, Apron, I'm so sorry. So fun fact about the anatomy of a chicken wing. So people don't seem to know the, the difference between the wingy bits and the drummy bits, the, they all come from the same bird. This is the drummy bit here, this bit here, and then this is the wingy bit, and then this is the little piece that no one wants that we're just gonna cut off. We're gonna cut these and like separate the wing and the drummy and the abomination, because no one likes these. No one likes them, they're, just, they're not good. And before you start cutting anything, you're going to line whatever pan you're using for your chicken wings with non-stick parchment paper. I lost the box for the parchment paper, so it's just kind of been chilling in with the, with the trash bags for the last couple of weeks. So the way we're gonna handle this is we're gonna cut, we're gonna bread, we're gonna put on the tray, and then just kind of keep going from there. Just keep keep the trend going. Keep the train rolling, chugga 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 choo choo, motherfucker. Sorry for swearing so much. It's, it's probably because I'm in a sports bar. I've got my jersey on, I got I got my pinup girl poster. Nice. It's all that it's all that testosterone pumping through my veins that's causing me to say fuck a lot more than usual. Take out your knife, threaten everyone who's in the area with it. Aya! Alright, so we have one wing. Don't worry, this counter's been cleaned and sanitized. Ignore all the stains that are on it. I promise it's clean. So we're gonna take our, our knife and our chickadee, and we're just gonna, oh, that's really slippery. Come on, just cut on right through it. Your knife should be able to cut through the bone. If it can't, well, that's some sadness for you. Cut off the unmentionables that no one ever wants. There we go. Maybe you can make like a nice stew out of this, out of this little bit, the little flapper bit. I don't, I don't know. How do chickens dial a phone without fingers? They just go boop, 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 boop. So we're gonna go egg wash, just drop it on in, make sure it's nice and eggy. Then we're gonna drop it on in our breading, our mixture of all of the, or it's, this, is, this is the flour, flour and panko mixture. It's delicious, nutritious flour and panko. So healthy for you. Drop it back in your egg, eggy egg, and then it's gonna go right in there, right into your panko crumbs. Ah, yes, your, your plain old panko. So it's technically double breaded, 
technically double bread it. And then you're just gonna take it, you're gonna plop it, when your shirt's nice and nice and nice and covered, plop it right on your tray as it awaits the oven. Do the next thing, do the next one, drop it in. Uh, recommendation here that I should have thought about before I'd started doing this. Um, have one hand for the wet and one hand for the dry. That way you don't get this, this monstrosity that looks like I was like a fourth grader eating clay or something like that. Or like being a clay monster or something else that actually makes sense. Drop it on in, pull it on out, put it in the hand, drop it on in, cover, cover, cover. And repeat that whole process about 45 times. 20 wings, oh god, all breaded and ready for the oven, which once the oven's preheated at 435, we're gonna put in the oven for 20 minutes, they're gonna cook for 20 minutes, we're gonna pick them out after 20 minutes, flip them all, and they're gonna go back in for 20 more minutes. While we're doing that, we're gonna deal with our deep fried stuff, but for right now, we're gonna put these in the oven, because ovens cook things. Now, for our deep frying. Dramatic. This is canola oil. You can use vegetable oil, you can use peanut oil. I am using canola oil because I panicked in the baking aisle. There were people behind me who needed to get oil and I'm like, I don't know what I have to do. I got one of these, is it canola, is it vegetable, is it, is it, is it peanut oil? And I couldn't, I, do, I don't remember. I cannot ever remember which one is the right answer. I think they're all right in some capacity, but I just don't fucking know. Cause I'm dumb. You're gonna pour, just a bunch of this oil into your pan. Pour enough that you're gonna be able to submerge a few of these things. You don't have to fill it up all the way because that just makes more cleanup later. But I'd say, you know, just like a good, a good, like uh, a good third or a quarter of the pan. As long as you can submerge whatever you're trying to fry, you're good. Turn on your stove, get the oil going nice and hot. Um, I don't have a thermometer, so it's entirely a guesstimate of when this is ready for stuff. Other half of the panko, this is why I want you to save it. Now, you're gonna take whatever's left of your, like just original flour mixture, and you're gonna dump your panko in there. You don't need super fancy breading on your sides. You just need enough to cover it and make sure that everything is delicious, and it's gonna be horribly unhealthy for you. I don't have paper towels either. I might have some napkins in the car. So while our oil gets nice and hot, we've got plenty of time to get our sides taken care of because there's not a whole lot of prep that needs to be done here. The big thing is gonna be taking your cheese sticks and cutting them in half so you will have um, normal sized mozzarella sticks. Now here's the thing, here's the thing. You're gonna do the pickles first. Do the pickles first actually. Cause here's the thing, these cheese sticks, if you do not bread, if you do not bread them just right, the breading will bust, cheese will explode everywhere and your oil could get very ruined very fast. So let's, we'll do pickles first. We'll do the things that I know don't take a whole lot of effort to get done. You are my dry hand, you are my wet hand. That's how we're gonna do this. Okay, in you go. So once your oil starts crackling, that's usually a good indicator that's ready. Again, use a thermometer if you have one. I just don't and I don't care because I'm stupid. So just drop on in. Okay, so it's not quite there. Okay, there we go, we're getting bubbles. We're getting some bubbles. You see in those bubbles? That means we didn't fuck everything up like we you know, usually do. So just toss your pickles in there. Don't overload the pan. Just the couple you have breaded already should be more than enough. Let those go for a few minutes until they are browned. I will get the next batch of pickles ready to go in and we'll just, yeah, we'll just do this thing. Just gonna use our lobster claws, make sure everything is getting flipped over, everything is getting evenly cooked. It looks like everything is going okay. Everything is frying up kinda pretty nicely. Kinda pretty nicely, not just nicely, not just kinda nicely, but kinda pretty nicely. Drop, remember I said that don't overcrowd your pan? Pretty sure I'm doing that right now, but you know what? It is what it is, we got all of our pickles in, it's fine. And some of these start looking like they're getting done, go ahead and pull them on out. This one, definitely, that one's my that one's my golden child I'm in, in literal and figurative senses. You're a pretty okay second choice, you know? I'm sad that the breading on most of these um, is pretty much melting off. So while those last couple of pickles finish frying, we're gonna take our cheese sticks out of their packaging, we're gonna cut them in half, and then once the pickles have vacated the pan, I almost said plan, once the pickles have vacated the pan, we can start breading and just dump it on in. This seems too small to be a cheese stick. This seems too big. We need to like meet like right there. 
I'm sure this is fine. It's probably fine. It's probably all fine. I haven't done this in a very long time. All right, now these are good. These pickles are fried and ready. And it looks like just in time for us to pull out our wings. So that's cool. So now we go to the, we play a game called Use Your Apron as Potholders because this time the potholders are just fucking missing. They're not in this kitchen. They're probably in the bedroom if I take a guess because I don't bring things back down. This guy works. I don't know if it's gonna work well for that metal pan, but fuck, we're gonna try. This glove might help with heat reduction. And this glove, um, this glove won't. This was a free glove from like T-Mobile because they have like this weekly thing where they give away free stuff to their, their people. And this week's, what, uh, the week that I got this was like gloves, but they're really shitty gloves. Um, they don't keep your hands warm. You can't, you can't even, you can't swipe text with them. So that's completely useless. If you're not gonna have one of those two things, you need to have the other. Ball is just dropped all around. Okay, this is gonna be a fucking nightmare to get out of here. The hope is that I can figure out a way to use these tools to get this pan out of the oven without completely fucking burning myself. Go, 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 go. Your time is limited. Your fucking time is limited. Oh my God, there we go. The hurt's starting. Ah! Just gonna use my, my lobster because it's gonna rescue this little chickadee here. Yep, there we go. Perfect. After 20 minutes, you're gonna take your lobster claws. You're gonna flip each of your chicken wings over onto the other side. Once your chicken is all flipped over and it's all flipped and safe, you are going to raise your oven temperature to 445. You are then gonna put these back in the oven for another 20 minutes so you can finish up all the things. Okay, here we go. Next, the bad news bears of cooking, take two. Uh, apron, apron holder. That's the name of the show now. It's called apron holder. I'm just gonna spin the pan, rotate it ever so gently so that I can I can put the other side where it needs to go. That's what we want. Yep, just like that. The pan's cooled down a lot. It's not as hot as it was. Still uh, scolding, but not as badly. 20 more minutes on that timer. And then this can come back over here. Yeah. And the fire can start all over again. I'm like, I feel like I got burned on my nose somehow. I don't know how, but I feel like I did. My glasses do look a little melty. So that's, that's not good. That's probably not what you want. Yeah, great. Oh, I'm, I'm scratching paint off my glasses. Ew. So when your cheese is cut up and you have a free pan to use, you can lid your, your pickles, you get your egg wash stuff, and you're just gonna do what you did before with the egg and the, and the other stuff. Just drop your cheese on into the egg. You make sure it's all in there. It all gets submerged. It all gets nice and eggy. And just, yeah, get it in here and cover it in as much of this breadcrumb as you can. Because again, if you don't have a tight seal on this stuff, it's gonna explode. And I don't think anyone wants that exactly. Why won't you bread? Damn it. This is gonna be harder than I thought. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna try putting one of these in there and see if it explodes. Cause if it does, I gotta rethink my game plan a lot on this note. All right, this is our guinea pig mutant slice of cheese that is gonna, this is, this is gonna explode. It's gonna explode. How are you supposed to do mozzarella sticks if you can't do mozzarella sticks? Just put it in there. I don't care what happens. Well, um, I'm not seeing a mess. So I think that's a good sign. All right, yeah. This is a bad idea. This thing is, put it down, put it down, put it down, put it down. Okay, yeah, that's, that's not oh, gonna work. Cause you see, you see it here. It was falling apart. It's still, yeah, I broke it open. Somehow the breading kept everything intact though. Or maybe it was just the egg. So that's something to look at at least. So it wasn't a total failure, but I need a new method. I need a new strategy here. And I think I've got one. So many moons ago on a website called Tasty, I, I think I saw this. I'm pretty sure that I saw this and didn't make it up, but I saw a way to make really, really simple mozzarella sticks using white bread as your, as your breading. Cause you get, cause bread and breading are the same thing. At least I think I saw this on Tasty. I could be completely making it up cause I'm an idiot, but I think if my math is right, it should work. 
like a charm. White trash mozzarella sticks, here we come. Can I coat the top, just, just real quick, coat the top with breadcrumbs. If, if you have any leaks, plug them with breadcrumbs. That actually might work. Let's see. Horrible idea, take two. I'm not hating what I'm, what I'm seeing here. Man, it smells like pickles in here like you have no idea. Fry, motherfucker, fry. That'll play, that works. That'll play, fuck it, let's do it. Really didn't expect the mozzarella sticks to take as long as they did. So let's go play another game of burn the fuck out of my hands, shall we? Let's take these off so I don't melt those and also take this off cause sweaty head. Okay, let's just, oh, it's so hot. It's so fucking hot guys, ah, uh, heat. Okay, yeah, I need the gloves. I need those gloves. Where are those gloves at? Uh, hurry up, 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 perfect. And turn the oven off really fucking quick because holy shit is it hot in here. Oh, don't turn the oven off. Keep the oven on. Shit, shit. Where are you? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, uh, oven. Move it to 425 once your chimkin is out. I was there. I should have just kept it where it was and left it alone. You moron! Another pan. Drunk boy. Zeus be with me. Empty. Go ahead and empty your curly fries onto your tray. Oh man, that's another 30 minutes I don't have. And my head's cut off because I don't pay attention. The good news is, however, it's going to take us a little bit to fuck with the wings and sauces. So we've got some time to play with. In you go, RV fries. So for the most part, you're, so your deep fried sides are done. Your wings are done. Uh, if you want to give your wings a little dip in the oil bath, you're more than free to. I'm not gonna because, well, I, I'm done with the oil for the day. I'm getting lightheaded. That's that's really all there is to that one. But there is still another task on the horizon. Why can't I tie this fucking thing? There we go. Yep. Just like that. Nailed it. There is still one more task on the horizon, and that's your sauce preparation. For your sauces, you're gonna need pans. And I say pans plural because there are two people in this house that like two different sauces. I mean, I like I like barbecue sauce. That's Grim's choice. But I also I also make this like I also mix like this hot like this this hot mustard. Really good, really solid choice. I recommend it if you ever get the chance. So two pans, like two pans, Sam. So this front pan here is gonna be our straight up barbecue sauce pan. We're just gonna turn the heat on on whatever setting, a little lower. We're just warming this these sauces up. We're not doing anything really special. They're just going into the pan so they get warmed up so we can toss the wings in them. This is almost an empty bottle, but it's lucky because we have tons of sweet baby rays. Because I hoard the stuff. I hoard it. Some people hoard toilet paper for the apocalypse. I hoard sweet baby rays barbecue sauces. Get out of the thing. Get out of the thing. Get out. Get out. Get out. Leave. Leave this house. You're not welcome here. Ah. Next. There we go, that's better, that's a better flow. And as for my hot mustard, you're gonna mix one part Sweet Baby Ray's uh, buffalo sauce. You can also use Frank for Shred Hot, it's the same thing, but I, I prefer this one for brand loyalty reasons. And you're gonna mix mustard. Not reinventing the wheel here, not like breaking any kind of walls down. We're not doing anything special here. We're just mixing some sauces to make other sauces for delicious, nutritious chicken wings. Go to the old shake before you pop the top so you don't get any of that weird mustard juice. Do a little squish. That's how you do it. We're then gonna turn on our heat on both burners. We've got tiny whisks here. They're actually beaters for the egg beater, but we're gonna use them anyway for our sauce mixtures. And just mix them both. Give them both good clockwise mixes. This one probably needs a little bit more attention than the others because you're, you're combining two very different things into one thing. So keeping that heat on, we're gonna start, we're gonna drop some wings, some chicken wings into these sauces. There is a much more efficient way of doing this with bowls, but I don't feel like dirtying any more of my bowls because we are running dangerously low. Legit guys, it's, it's about time for another like doing the dishes episode of this show. With a public shaming, of none other than me, Lego my Grego. <laughs> Flip it over. Got some barbecue chicken wings. Oh no, where's my little octa claws? Fuck. Okay, well, we're gonna do some cross contamination. Who who knows uh, how long we have on this world? As it is, you, you're gonna let a little cross contamination of some of some sauces 
really kind of ruin your party, really not float your boat, sink your boat. That's the word I'm looking for, sink the boat. Not me, not this guy here, you, not me. Let's plate some of these bad boys once you got all your wings, just the sauciest wings you could ever ask for. We're putting five on a plate, just doing a nice little five piece wing. If you wanna do more, do more. Um, I just know what I can eat and I know what Grim can eat, which is normally more for me, um, but there's also a ton of fried food. So we're gonna be careful here. Does anyone want some weird ass mozzarella sticks or maybe some like deep fried pickles to put on their plates? You know, just for starters, obviously. Uh, we're gonna have fries too in just a few minutes. This is the weird one. I'm gonna take that one so Grim doesn't have to suffer through it. How are these? The deep fried pickles, not great. They're, they're, they had a real problem with the breading sticking to them, but I mean, hey, they're pickles. They got fried breading on them. What more could you ask for? I wanna see how this looks. How does this little chunky monkey look? How are you doing? That is extremely sad. Yeah. Ooh. Tastes good. So that's, you know, that's all you really need. Some good taste in cheese and breading. America. Nothing quite like standing around waiting for the last thing to be done. Wait. Why am I standing in a sports bar? Clearly, sports bars have bar stools. Man, this is a great bar. I mean, I've never been, this is my first time coming here, but you know, I'm really, really loving what I'm seeing here. Cheers. We got food, got, got bar stools, got some, got some really neat, really neat pinups all over the place. I mean, come on, what, what more could you guys want at your sports bar? Come on, fries, everything's gonna get cold. I mean, we've tried everything else, right? Except for the wings. Pick a winner here. What's the best looking wing on this plate of wings? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go this boy on the end here. This boy on the end here looks like my guy. My, he's my guy. Oh my God. Those are so fucking juicy. The breading isn't great, but breading has never been my strong suit. The chicken itself is cooked wonderfully. Mm. I love this bar. I'm curious how the barbecue sauce turned out. The breading on this one's better. The breading on this one's actually really good. It's nice and crispy. I can really taste the garlic and onion powder in it. And again, the wing, super juicy. You can definitely tell the difference between my first couple of wings and the sad ones at the end. I should probably get like a new, like a, I should probably like hire a default breading guy for my sports bar. Um, Big Greg's Burgers and Fries. But in the end, not bad. Not a fucking bad attempt. Gimme, 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 gimme. Yes! Hot! Oh my god, that's fucking hotter than the chicken wing plan. Who likes curly fries? Oh, I like curly fries! And so, get my head cut off. And so, gang, <laughs> here they are. Here are your very own, your patented uh, uh, sports bar chicken wing meal recipes with our insanely bizarre uh, mozzarella sticks. We got our, our pickle chip fried things and of course curly fries because you can't have a sports bar without, I haven't tried the fries yet. They just kind of the other, I'm not doing that. That's fucking hot, that's gonna kill me. But there we go guys. That is how you make chicken wings and a bunch of just accessories to go with the chicken wings. Is it overkill? Yes. If you want to do this at home, Watch someone else's uh, instructions on how to make breading. Like, like this one. This is the closest I get to like perfection. But that's how you make chicken wings and accessories. Thank you guys for watching this episode of The Bumbling Chef. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up in the buttons and clicky bar thing down there below. Leave me a comment. Subscribe to Lego My Grego TV if you feel like it. You don't have to. Do you want to like make this stuff and like open your own sports bar in your living room? You can do that. Tell me how it goes. Take lots of pictures. Show me the majesty of your sports bar. I almost fell out of my chair. And as always, guys, until next time, I've been Lego My Grego. You have been awesome, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.